welcome everybody back to exotic astrology and today we will complete our series on exaltations only one planet is remaining who is that yes it is the last planet saturn saturn is remaining okay he is not happy that we have delayed him <laughs> maybe he is still happy because he signifies delays right so before beginning as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be right there maybe there is some delay but he will still be there <laughs> <laughs> because we are discussing about saturn's exaltation that is why i am bringing some delay <laughs> maybe the upload of this video will also undergo lots of delays <laughs> delay teaches us patience perseverance tolerance it's very important actually and if you have not watched the other videos then please watch it otherwise you won't understand what i am speaking okay watch the videos on zodiac signs planets on what saturn actually is and subscribe to the channel and get notified by clicking in that notifications button to email youtube is really doing a great job by notifying people okay so we have discussed about sun getting exalted in aries moon getting exalted in taurus mercury getting exalted in virgo in the first video and in the last video we describe why mars gets exalted in capricorn jupiter gets exalted in cancer and venus gets exalted in the sign of pisces saturn is remaining now rahu ketu are also remaining we'll discuss about them also what is saturn Saturn is duty, commitment, hard work, struggle, pain, endurance, difficulty, tolerance. He is the old man. <laughs> Maturity, wise, knowledgeable, okay, experienced. They are known as Saturn people, okay. Now what is Libra? Libra is the sign of balance. It's the sign of fair negotiations, trades, deals. Okay, it is the sign where Saturn gets exalted, and Libra is the friendly sign for Saturn because Venus and Saturn are friends. We'll discuss on planetary friendships later. Now, which part of the body does Libra represent? Libra represents the sexual organs. Okay, Scorpio also. Scorpio represents the inner part if i am not wrong and libra represents the outer part so basically this part of the body the sexual part is controlled by venus okay and saturn gets exalted there and why is saturn given an exaltation of libra because it is a eunuch planet. Eunuch means who does not have a gender in the sense he is neither male or a female. Sun, Mars, Jupiter are male planets. Moon, Venus are female. Okay. <clears throat> and Mercury and Saturn are eunuchs. Okay. They are neither male, they are neither female. So that is why Saturn is given exaltation here. Because... If a male planet would, or a female planet would get exalted here, then there are chances that they can misuse this, okay, or overuse this. <laughs> but Saturn, being a eunuch, will not put any preconditions to this, okay. Whatever we decide, only that will happen. There will be no force from within or outside unless we ourselves decide to give that force okay or something else uh, makes us sexually agitated so that's why saturn is given the exaltation in libra and it becomes a very strong controller of that part because there are studies in the domain of medical science and in psychology also which have in the recent past demonstrated how 
control of one's sexuality is very important. When you lose semen, then the traits of Saturn become more and more weak. What are the traits of Saturn? A work productivity, being able to do things on time, all these things get hampered. Okay. And Libra is also the sign of balance, fair deals. And who is Saturn? Saturn is the poor people. Okay. And Saturn, that is why he is the planet, being the planet of justice, he likes the sign of Libra very much because Libra shows balance. Okay. And Saturn also represents the people who are into jobs like the labor, the labor class. Okay. And Libra also represents the business class, not the business rich aristocrats or the rich people, but traders who are doing business. Okay. They also have a strong link with Saturn. So these people can be very expert in business. <laughs> they can find their way out through things. Okay. They will negotiate through anything and everything. And Libra is also representing balance. And what is Saturn here? Saturn is also representing your actions. Yes. So Saturn in Libra people, their actions are very balanced. They can prioritize things properly. They can know when to do what and when not to do what. Because Saturn is a significator of karma. He is the karma adhipati. Adhipati means in charge. Karma is actions. Loosely if you translate it. And then these people have a lot of discipline in them because Saturn is the planet of discipline. So when it is in Libra, what happens is discipline comes by prioritizing things properly in life. By giving everything its due that it deserves, you become disciplined. Basically, when we say this person is very disciplined, what it means? He does everything which he should do. That means he is prioritizing properly. He is giving every action in his life which requires his attention its proper due. Suppose I say I am very disciplined in matters of cleanliness. Okay. But then you come to my home and you see oh everything is scattered. Then I am not disciplined because scattered means there is no place for everything in my home. Okay. Because basically cleanliness means what? To have a place for everything and to keep everything in its place. That's what is the meaning of cleanliness. Okay. So when I have a place for everything, what I am doing? I am giving every object its due share in my home, right? And I am keeping that thing there only. I am not doing partiality. Because Libra is balance. It's the sign of law. Not law, the codes that is Sagittarius. But uh, it is more of justice and giving everybody their due share that's what is justice right so when i keep everything in its place for example i have a table where i sit there i will keep my laptop and in some other place i will keep something else okay and i'm not partial oh this is my i love this so i'll give it more space if the size is big you will need more space that's a different thing but <clears throat> we are not prioritizing any object okay we are giving equal space to everybody depending on their size and shape. Okay. The same is with relationships also. If somebody is very close to us, we give them more time, more of our uh, control. Yes. And if somebody is not that much, then we may have, we may not have a very intimate relationship with them. Yes. And that's okay. We cannot have the best relationship with everybody. That's not possible. So that is why Saturn ultimately gets exalted in Libra because every aspect finds balance and discipline cannot come without balance. It is impossible. It simply cannot happen. <laughs> discipline means being able to balance everything properly. Okay. And what is Libra? 
another in another sense it is also other people the natural seventh house of the zodiac right and saturn is also the planet which represents masses and other people so when saturn comes to libra he finds very much comfort there because he is dealing with other people talking with everybody trying to solve their problems that's why saturn gets exalted in libra and there are many meanings we will discuss later and also ultimately it's a air sign so there also you see the aspect of communication yes gemini is also there but gemini you do not have this aspect of justice okay and in aquarius you do not have the aspect of justice even like it is in libra so although in aquarius saturn is very happy talking about how to bring change in the society how to bring revolution by unorthodox means because it is ruled by rahu it is more happier to be in libra because balance is the primary trait of libra okay and then we come to rahu and ketu rahu ketu there is a debate among the astrological community that where is the exaltation of rahu and ketu mentioned rahu ketu does good in for example rahu does good in art signs and air signs taurus gemini virgo libra and capricorn and aquarius because these six signs represent money and materialistic life okay because art sign represents money and air sign represents desires that's what rahu is right desires which keep impelling us to take birth again and again you are born because of rahu i am born because of rahu you are born because of rahu rahu is the cause of our birth ketu is what we did and rahu is what we want what we are obsessed about and that is why this dynamic axis keeps playing in our life whatever we get obsessed to we have to leave it ultimately because ketu is letting go <laughs> and what else similarly ketu does good in fire signs and water signs aries leo sagittarius cancer scorpio and the last 12th pisces because these signs represent moksha and religion spirituality they are the signs which link us to our ultimate father god fire signs tell us how to do by going in the fire of religion okay because they represent the first fifth and ninth are the religious trines and 4 and 12 is the moksha trine moksha trikon they tell us what happens ultimately when you keep practicing spirituality okay moksha trikon is the goal to attain salvation to attain liberation to go back to god and that's what ketu wants because it is the significator of moksha moksha karak okay and primarily astrologers take exaltation of rahu to be in gemini and in taurus and vice versa for ketu in the opposite signs sagittarius and scorpio rahu's own sign is considered to be aquarius and virgo by some astrologers and ketu is supposed to own uh, scorpio and they also say it's moola trikona is in pisces okay so rahu ketu gets exalted in gemini and sagittarius and taurus and scorpio respectively because gemini is that flamboyant energy which can do whatever it wants and that's what rahu wants okay and what ketu is ketu is that planet which just wants to go to god and where can it find it in scorpio and in sagittarius also it can find in pisces but sagittarius is the most powerful sign okay so that's it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments and any doubts on exaltations of planets then please let me know in the comment section and again please if you have not subscribed then do subscribe to it 
and click the notifications bell so that you keep getting the updates and let me end by saying again god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there <laughs> Okay, so until next time, bye-bye, see you.